I've been testing AI video generators for months now, and I've discovered something that's going to save you hundreds of dollars in subscription fees. You see, most creators are stuck choosing between Runway, Luma, Kling, or Minimax, each having their own strengths and weaknesses. But what if I told you there's one tool that combines all of these models into a single platform at a fraction of the price? That's right, Freepik AI has just launched their all-in-one AI video generator that lets you create videos through multiple AI models with a single prompt. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how it works, the incredible videos you can create, and why this might be the only AI video subscription you will ever need. Before we dive in, let me show you what I created using Freepik. That night, lightning struck me, and it hurt a lot. The next morning, I looked at the horizon and thought I was saved. The island had everything I needed, but I still felt alone. Then one night, I saw a light in the distance. That's when I knew I wasn't the only one. Let me show you how it works. First, head over to freepick.com and create an account. Once you're logged in, click on Generate Video in the navigation menu, which will take you to the video generation interface. From here, you can see a text box to describe your video. This is where you'll input your prompt. Below that is the AI prompt feature, which can enhance your descriptions automatically. And I recommend keeping this toggled on as it helps refine your prompts. Next, you'll see the mode section where you can select which AI model you want to use. By default, it's set to Luma since that's the fastest, but you can choose between several options. Luma takes about one minute to generate, making it the fastest option. Runway takes around two to three minutes. Minimax takes around three minutes and Kling takes around three to five minutes. For this, I'll use a simple prompt like a golden retriever running through a field of flowers. I'll select Luma for now since it's the fastest and choose 16 by nine for the aspect ratio. Now I'll click generate video and wait for the results. Now this looks good, but I wanna try a different model to see if I can get better results. So I'll simply go back, keep the same prompt, but switch the mode to Minimax this time. As you can see, each model has its own strengths. Though in my opinion, the one we generated with Minimax was significantly better. Let me try one more example using the same prompt, but with Runway, which often produces more cinematic results. You can see that each model interprets the same prompt differently. Luma gave us a faster result, but with less detail. Minimax provided better prompt adherence and Runway created a more cinematic feel with better lighting. This is why having access to multiple models in one platform is so valuable. You can experiment until you find the perfect result without paying for multiple subscriptions. Freepik also lets you add effects and camera movements to your videos when using models like Kling and Minimax Director. While typing your prompt, you can click on the effects drop-down menu. From there, you can choose options such as pan left or right, tilt up, tilt down, static, and many more. Let me try the same golden retriever prompt, but with a truck right movement using Minimax Director. The movement adds so much more cinematic quality to the scene, which is why I often use these camera movements to enhance my videos. Let me show you another example using a tilt up movement with a different prompt, a medieval castle on a hilltop at sunset. These camera movements can completely transform your videos and make them look much more professional. Now I wanna show you my favorite feature, the image to video workflow. This is actually how I created that impressive opening video earlier. The secret to creating truly amazing AI videos is to first generate the perfect image, then convert it to video, which gives you much more control over the final result. Here's how it works. Go to the images section in Freepik and enter your prompt. I'll type a surreal landscape featuring a lone astronaut walking through a pink hued valley. Then choose your model. I recommend Flux 1.1 for the best quality. Then I'll select a style like surreal for this particular scene and generate my image. Now that we have our image, click on reuse and select video. The platform will automatically describe what's in the image, but you can modify this description to add specific movements or elements. Let's generate the video and see what happens. Now this looks absolutely insane. The video maintains all the details from our image, but adds subtle movement that brings it to life, creating a much more immersive experience than a static image could ever provide. Let me show you one more example using a completely different style. I'll generate an image with the prompt, a cyberpunk city at night with neon lights and flying cars, and use the dream landscape style. 
Now, although the other images followed my prompt and included flying cars, this right here looks the best. So let's see what it looks like when I convert it to video using the same process. The framing of this video and the subtle glow of the neon lights really brings this cyberpunk city to life. This technique of going from image to video gives you so much more control over the final result. Now for creating videos featuring consistent characters, Freepik has you covered with their training feature. Go to images, then character. Click new character, give your character a name and select their gender. Then upload 12 to 24 images of your character and select high quality for the best results. I've already created a character named Emily using this method. And when generating an image, I simply include Emily in my prompt, like Emily sitting on a raft floating in the ocean. This ensures that the AI consistently generates the same character across multiple scenes. Then I can convert this to video just like before. Let me click on reuse and select video to transform this static image into a dynamic scene. And within seconds, Freepik processes this and creates a video that maintains all of Emily's unique features while adding subtle movements to the ocean and raft. This is absolutely fantastic for storytelling because now I can create an entire narrative with Emily as the main character. Let me show you another example with Emily in a completely different setting. Emily standing on top of a mountain, arms raised in victory. Freepik maintains Emily's distinct features and appearance, creating a consistent character that I can use throughout my entire video. I'll convert this to video as well using the same process. This is insane. Both videos clearly feature the same character despite the completely different environments. For my opening video, I actually created a storyboard first generating each scene as an image, then converting them to videos and finally editing them together. I started by writing out my story and breaking it down into scenes. For each scene, I generated an image featuring my character. After that, I converted every image into a video and downloaded them. Finally, I edited them on CapCut, adding voiceover and music to complete the project. Speaking of voiceover and music, Freepik has you covered there too. If you go to Tools and then Explore AI Suite, you'll find an AI voice generator with some unique voices I haven't heard elsewhere. And for music, Freepik Tunes gives you access to copyright-free music that you can use in your videos without worrying about copyright strikes. Now let's talk about what makes Freepik absolutely insane, which is the price. While Runway costs around $15 a month for limited generations, Luma is about $10 a month and Kling starts at around $9 a month. Freepik gives you access to all these models for just $16 a month. That's potentially saving you over half every month if you were previously subscribed to multiple platforms. And it's not just video generation. Your subscription also includes AI image generation, character training, voice generation, music library access, and much more. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more AI video tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Let me know in the comments which AI video generator you've been using and if you're planning to switch to Freepik after watching this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.